Great. And then what about, uh, I know everyone's asking, and I, I don't think we have any details about this, but um, when do you think you'll be making announcements about your upcoming tour? In the next three weeks, we should be able to be announcing the, the dates for our next tour. Um, there, we're, we're hammering out the, the routing right now from city to city and making sure that, you know, every date works. And uh, we're, we're really excited um, for the amount of ground that we're going to cover and the performances that we're going to be able to bring to people in traditional venues and non-traditional venues in these cities. And uh, it's going to be really exciting. Well, I know your fans are very excited. Um, do you know, uh, let's say, Gundy, I'm just going to, I'll just read this, because uh, a lot of the questions that were sent in, uh, and I'll just go through them, are, are about the uh, wh where you guys will be touring. So mostly just so I can give them shout-outs. Gundy uh, wrote, when will Hunter Monkeys come to Europe, and which European cities do they plan to visit? Uh, we European monkeys, monkey junkies, are looking forward to it, and above all, we have bananas. So uh, just so you know, they have bananas in, in Europe. Um, I love bananas. I did not know that. <laughs> And uh, Darian Ralston wants you guys to do a show in Virginia. Uh, Jackie, uh, that's a different one I'll come back to. I thought there was there was somebody else. Um, Nikki Ray would like you guys to come to Puerto Rico. Um, Lauren Riley will let you, would like you to come to New Jersey and Pennsylvania. And uh, Rachel from Windsor would like you to come to Canada. So uh, it's pretty incredible that uh, that you guys are you guys are popular all over. Uh, Christy in Kentucky would like to know uh, if you could play at any venue in the world, where would it be? Uh, my parents' house. <laughs> uh, which parent would that be? Meaning, meaning, uh, who said that? <laughs> oh, this is Ben. <laughs> hey. <laughs> uh, and uh, w would it just be like in your parents' backyard? Because I'm sure we can. I'm sure we can arrange that. Yes, that that would be great. That would be fantastic. Are there any um, outside 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 of your parents' house? Is, are there any uh, large venues that that would be like a dream place? Like, is you know, a lot of people. I'll just say it because uh, I did watch the Justin Bieber movie, and the entire thing <laughs> was centered around. Uh, you know, getting themselves to uh, Madison Square Garden, like performing at Madison Square Garden was their symbol of success. Do you guys have a venue that's like, once we play the Sydney Opera House, whatever it is, that that'll sort of be like, that that's your place? Well, I was and I by, and by and by the way, hang on, Uncle Larry, I'm sorry, but by the way, I did hear people snickering uh, on the phone about the fact that I saw the Justin Bieber movie, and I. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, along with beef cooler that you know, uh, some some Tylenol and Advil won't cure, <laughs> <laughs> and a lot of whiskey. But um, okay, now Uncle Larry, you can tell me <laughs> the venue. I would say the world. The world. Yep. Where's that venue? Yeah, I was gonna say. So we've gone from we've gone from a Ben's backyard to <laughs> the world. If we, hey. I will hey, let wait, you guys wait, wait, know wait. you'll never be disappointed in in any of this. <laughs> Well, you know, I think the honest answer is that, you know, there's not a specific uh, location that, you know, we really have in mind. Uh, um, I think in, in, you know, the, the modern uh, entertainment world of new media, I think, uh, you know, honestly, just being able to, to play uh, a concert like the, uh, the uh, Spencer Bell Legacy concerts and have it streamed around the world and have everyone um, all the way from Puerto Rico to, to Chile to, to, you know, to Europe and France and Norway and the States and Canada and Australia, everybody streaming the, the shows at the same time. I think that's one of the most uh, amazing uh, things that I've ever been a part of. And, uh, you know, I, I think that's honestly the stage that I, uh, I, I think we've all kind of really wanted to be a part of and, you know, to be able to share the music of an incredible artist like Spencer Bell with the entire world and have them all watching at the same time. That's really mm -hmm. what the Hunter Monkey effect is about. Can you let, I, and I've read up uh, on who Spencer Bell is, and uh, but can you, uh, again, since uh, we, there's a lot of people listening that, that, have, that aren't familiar with, with you guys, can you sort of give a little backstory on who Spencer Bell is? Spencer Bell was a, uh, uh, a dear friend of ours who um, passed away a few years ago from uh, adrenal cancer. And uh, it's a very rare form of uh, of cancer. Um, and uh, well, but he left behind uh, a legacy of art, poetry, and especially music that uh, through uh, the course of the years we've been able to put out through to uh, su uh, because of fan support, and we've, able, we've been able to raise a lot of money for adrenal cancer research, and we've been able to actually. Uh, uh, through the work of Dr. Gary Hammer, uh, encourage pharmaceutical companies to finally, uh, after 40 years, uh, create a new drug for adrenal cancer research. 
And, um, you know, and it's really just about putting the art out there because if you type in Spencer Bell uh, into iTunes, for instance, I mean, you'll be able to hear um, pure, pure heart and soul and just an incredible singer-songwriter who uh, was taken uh, way before his time. Yeah, and, he was, um, he, how, how old was he? He was very young, right? About 20. 20, yeah. Um, that's incredible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look him up because I haven't listened to his, any of his stuff. I had just read about him on, on your website. Um, I've heard any, any of his music. I mean, uh, you know, uh, Ben Johnson, uh, uh, Ben J, uh, just pro- like one of the latest pro- uh, you know albums he's produced. Uh, it was uh, was it Live and Wasted? Live Art Fleetwood. Uh, it was released uh, two days ago in Austin, Texas. The most recent SBL. It's uh, Spencer's third posthumous album. Uh, fourth. Fourth. Fourth posthumous album. Um, so his his library of work is still just barely tapped and there, there's a lot that's to be released um, and, the, and the reactions that have come from people who have been able to hear this new music um, that, that's being released and remastered by Scott who again does an amazing job of, of recovering tracks that most of these were recorded on a microtape recorder in a, in a basement in Fleetwood, New York um, and he's made them sound a- absolutely fantastic. Um, uh, yeah, I, I would suggest anyone who's listening right now to go to SpencerBellLegacy.com and, and get yourself a copy because it, it will change your world. And is it something that is it something that you guys are just in, involved in, or do you guys sort of have the rights to it? How does that how is that working? I think it's in the position where the, this wonderful artwork is here, and you know we're we're very close with Spencer's family, of course, and. We, it just so happens that we're the people with the, the tools and the, the knowledge of how to produce and release music. And so we've taken on the, the task of making sure that this happens because it's so very, very, very important that everybody in the world hears this music. Um, so we're, we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that everybody has an opportunity to hear these songs and to read these poems and see these pictures and hear these stories. I think that's incredible. I uh, I, I, I do want to say that uh, I'm very impressed because there's a lot of this stuff that I, I did not know going into the show um, about how well-rounded you guys were as far as uh, really with the arts and, and, you know, sort of a step above just beyond, uh, you know, forming a band and playing some music. Uh, it's, it's very, it's very, very impressive because, and again, that, that's to me why I'm doing this show is to celebrate uh, the things that people are doing and that they're doing right, and not, you know, and, and not focusing on all of the, the celebrity gossip and the, and the, you know, really sort of the stupid stuff. And uh, I'm very, very impressed with what I'm hearing from you guys. Um, Katie, uh, she uh, wrote um, that uh, aside from Spencer Bell, um, who else are some of your heroes? Oh, uh, I, you know, like there's there many heroes. I mean, in in life, uh, you know, like many people just kind of. Uh, really inspire you. Um, I, you know, I think uh, my, you know, it's, as cliche as it is to say, my my, my parents are, are definitely uh, huge heroes for my for me, and um, just kind of uh, they raised uh, me and my sisters uh, around the world. Um, you know, like every two years we we pick up and move, and you know they they kept us all together, and you know like and they're very very conservative, and they raised some uh, kind of crazy artistic children. <laughs> so uh, they uh, and you know they did it with just pure love. And I think, uh, you know, I, yeah, my parents are my heroes, man. That's, uh, that, that's uh, first of all, as it can be as cliche as it want. I don't, uh, as cliche as it needs to be, I don't think enough people are thanking their parents these days, to tell you the truth. So uh, it's a it's a very, very good thing. Uh, do any of, any of you else want to, do any others of you want to chime in uh, with any specific heroes you'd like to give a shout out to? Well, this is Uncle Larry, and I would say to also family members of mine, too, as well, my mom being first, uh, she's the one that exposed me at a very, very young years uh, to become a professional um, musician, and I would say my, uh, with, the, with the aid of my two, also my, my, my one of my youngest brothers, Pony, and uh, between him and I, we, and my mom, we, we, we made a lot of music happen, so I have to say those two. Awesome. Anyone else? 